all go New England's no, way. No, they don't. That one still hurts, <laughs> even with the three Super Bowl rings that came after yeah, it? Yeah, it hurts. It hurts. The part that hurts the most is after the game when the confetti's falling and they usher, security's ushering you off the field like you didn't play in the game, like <laughs> it's time to go for the post-game ceremony. Yeah, it hurt. Oh, how do you overcome that? How do you turn the page and try and get back to business? You know, it's so devastating as a player to, to lose that game because you never know when you're going to get back to the football game. You put in so much work and the speeches go out and the coaches tell you that. They say, relish it, give it all you got, leave 110% out there because there's, there's no way you think you're going to get right back in, into it. And we didn't for about five or six years. So you just got to go out and, and, and play hard and figure you get lucky. And, you know, we were happy to get lucky. And that obviously is something that the Falcons are going to have to deal with in the months to come. Yeah, well, they got a good young team. And they got a good nucleus. They got a good head coach. The message there is good. These guys believe in each other. Um, they're a family. They're a brotherhood. And when you start to bring that culture there like Dan Quinn has, and you start to bring players in that buy into that culture, uh, it, it, it becomes real. You know, he's got, he got there pretty quickly. So chances that if he continues to do what he's been doing, the opportunities may be uh, in the future, another uh, Super Bowl. Obviously, it helps if you have uh, good players returning from that loss. Sure. So you can employ all that you learn from that experience. Falcons, luckily, do have that going for them. <laughs>